In this video, I'm reviewing a bunch of heels from the Brazilian brand Shoot. Word on the street is their heels are comfortable, that's why I'm trying out the shoes to see if they are true to size, made out of quality, and to feel whether their heels are wearable. But most important, I'm trying to find out if their heels are comfortable enough for you to wear. Find out now if Shoot shoes are worth your hard earned coins. Welcome to the Most Comfortable Heels channel. My name is Vanessa and I create content that will help you wear your heels for many hours without pain. And if you want to master the high heel without pain, you need to sign up to the waiting list to the online course where you do foot exercises, learn which heels are best for you and learn how to walk elegantly in heels with full confidence and without pain. So sign up and be the first to know about the online course. Now let's talk about Shoot, the brand that is founded by the Brazilian Alexander Berman. His shoes are known for being glamorous and some even say comfortable, but let's see if that's true. The first shoes I'm reviewing are the Lyra sandals that cost me 150 euros, which is a buy compared to the original design by Louis Vuitton called the Nova, sold for a whopping 1044 euros. The Lyra are made of leather from the inner and outer materials, the outer shoes are all made from leather by the way all the shoes i bought from shoots are made of leather which is really good because it means the material will mold to the shape of your feet and it also actually means that your shoes can be of high quality i bought a us size 10 shoots also offer half sizes but they don't offer wide fit sizes which makes me a bit nervous because wide fit options are so necessary nowadays other sizes go as low as a us size 5 and up to a size 11. the stilettos is 10 centimeter high the straps are round Rounded, which makes me a bit anxious because rounded straps can eventually hurt. If you want to know more about straps, you have to watch my last video on proper strap placement in heels because it really does matter. I also noticed that the heels don't smell strongly of cheap glue. So at the first eye and smell, you can immediately notice these heels are of good quality. When I first tried the heels, the front straps felt tight on my toes, but the second time I tried it, they did feel a little bit better. But you know what? They have so much potential to be great if they were a bit wider. That's why I say it's necessary for brands to offer wide fit options because that small difference can save a life in these streets. If you have regular width feet, these heels can be great for you if you can handle a 10 centimeter heel height. I honestly wish these heels were 2 centimeter lower just so that the girls who need mid heels had an option too. I'm also noticing while editing this video that these shoes are a little bit on the smaller size so I believe that they do not really fit right in the length if they would have been just a little bit bigger then they would be great um, sadly this is the biggest size if they were a little bit wider and if they were a little bit lower they would have been five stars but that's not the case so I'm giving them three stars let's continue to the next pair of heels and see how they feel these are the Tina sandals by shoots that cost me 176 euros I bought it in a size 10 the heel height is 10 centimeter high but the crazy part is I ordered the cylinder heel and it came in a stiletto which is so weird because I was really expecting to get like a block heel type of heel I guess this was a mistake but let's continue the heel doesn't have a padded insole which is okay and the upper material is wefted leather which makes me nervous because these type of materials tend to cut in the skin if your feet swell which happens a lot in the summer but when I tried these heels on I immediately noticed they were wide enough for me very much wide feet friendly I must say when I took these heels off, the upper material left an imprint. These heels are pretty on the high side and combined with the wefted material, it didn't really keep one of my toes in place. So sometimes my toes were peeking through, which can eventually be annoying. I love the fact that these shoes are true to size, but I don't like how my toes tend to peek through. But overall, I do think these heels are pretty wearable. So I give these heels three stars. These are the Lucy Wedges and Woe. They are a typical 90s heel with a modern twist. I bought the Lucy Wedges for 139 euros in a size 10. The heel height is 12 centimeter high guys. So 
this is very very high and honestly i never recommend for people to wear these heels that are so high like this but let's see if the wedges itself will make these heels wearable so this is a meal with a thick leather strap and built-in insole so when i try these heels on i immediately noticed how comfortable they were the leather felt like butter to my skin and because of the wedge the heels didn't feel that high to me because the wedge also supported my arch which makes it easier to wear honestly i don't really have anything to say about this i really recommend this heel if you can handle a higher heel so it doesn't matter if it's a wedge if the heels are too high they can still be uncomfortable for you but overall i'm going to give these heels four stars they would have been five stars if they would have been a little bit lower but overall still very comfortable and i love these heels now let's continue to the next pair of heels the vicky glam these heels deserve this name because indeed whoa they are glamorous the rhinestones and the hot pink make these heels so beautiful and just take a look at this straight high stiletto doesn't it make you nervous well it makes me nervous and the tongue part she well let's put the Vicky Glam to the test I bought them for 185 euros in a size 10 and the material is pure suede the heel height is 11 centimeter high with a straight heel which can feel higher compared to curved heels the straps seem like they can be removed if you are careful but I didn't want to rip the strap so I left it alone the wear on process made me frustrated because it's tedious the shoes were true to size and very much white fit friendly but i couldn't concentrate on that because the tongue part felt already uncomfortable and the high heel height was just too high for me this review is short i give these heels two stars because the design is lit and the shoes are true to size but the heels are definitely not heels you can stand in for many hours so i'm sorry i have to give these heels two stars now let's take a look at the packaging because every pair of heels came in a beautiful package. It came with a dust bag. The shoes were individually packed in plastic and also with this paper. Let's see if the last but definitely not least heels by Shoots are worth your hard earned coins. They are called the Agatha heel and I got them in orange and this is the first heel I bought from Shoots in a size 10 and a half. So I wonder if that will make a difference. I bought the Agatha for 147 euros. They are mules with a third strap right above the bridge of your feet just to keep your feet in place which makes mules easier to wear. The heel height is 11 centimeter high and the heels are padded so when i tried these heels on i noticed they were a bit too high my feet were sliding forward and i think the size 10 would fit me a lot better the heel height was too high for me 11 centimeter mm -mm, no can do again if they were a bit lower they would be better i give these heels three stars because it's really the heel height that was bothering me if it would be like two centimeter lower it would be perfect and it would be a type of heel you could wear for many hours but 11 centimeters it just goes to the danger zone um and also the heels were a bit too big for me so i'm giving these heels three stars so let's go over the rates for shoot shoes the lyra got three stars the tina got three stars the lucy wedge got four stars the vicky glam got two stars and the agatas got three stars so shoots have an overall rate of three stars the quality of shoot shoes is top notch and you can see in the way they package your shoes and also if you just take a look at the shoes that this is a high quality brand and you really get what you pay for i think these heels are definitely worth your coins and they give you a designer vibe and will definitely add a finishing touch to your look so shoots they need to work on their sizing. I believe they are slightly inconsistent and also they need to offer wide fit and narrow sizes. I don't know if you noticed but all the heels I reviewed were very high and I think if they could offer more wearable heel heights 
plus different width from narrow to wide, they will be a five star brand. So please let me know, would you invest in a pair of shoot shoes? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to sign up to my waiting list of the online course that I'm about to drop. This online course will really change your life because you're going to learn how to fully walk in high heels without pain. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can pop up on your timeline whenever I drop something new. Thank you and I'll see you the next time. Bye.